obviously here because you're an artist, with very little space. And that's okay, because my room is my studio, and I'm gonna show you how to make it work. Three tricks that I use to help maximize my space are this wall space, and then a desk. I have a lot of containers. Some of them house art supplies like this one. Some of them house sewing supplies like this one. But I think if you can tuck things away, containers are definitely the way to go. Now mine are organized by certain things. So for example, this one, color pencils at the top, intricate art supplies that I don't really use that much. So like a bunch of pastels like these ones and even something to sharpen up my pencils. Storing supplies like this, I always recommend the ones with the handle on them. Or if you have shelves, you can get ones like these that just tuck away. They're very convenient and honestly, they're pretty cheap, like $10 or $15. You probably would find one for $5, honestly, truly. So yeah, definitely invest in some containers, people. So this is one of the areas that I take advantage of. I have a calendar here, marked from April. I'm gonna I'm, I'm I'm a fix that, honestly, to me. Like, I'll be forgetting it's up there, but I use that. I'm getting a new one soon, probably to fill up this whole area. But it's just a pegboard. I literally got this for like $2, I think, offline. They have them at the dollar store, they're really cheap. And I just hold more pens here, more color pencils here. It's my wall of affirmation. You could honestly stick more things there if you want, but let me show you something else. I have all of my sketchbooks, and then I just have a bunch of other cool things, but the sketchbooks are what's important. The walls are very good for storage. As you can see, more wall space being used by books. So it's not just art supplies. You can pretty much use it for anything, but I think it's definitely something you should take advantage of. Wall space, wall space, wall space. Honestly, the desk doesn't have to be intricate. Mine looks intricate because it's so messy, but just somewhere where it's separate from, separate from your room, but integrated into your room. So like I have this desk and I keep my laptop up here. I have my keyboards under here, but I think just having a space where you can sit and do art rather than having to do it on the ground really helps, in my opinion, just my work ethic. It makes me want to do things more because I'm like, oh, I have my desk and it's so cute. And I can just sit down and da, 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 da. So you can just put a piece of wood on something and be like, it's my desk, but get something. Trust me, it'll help. Hopefully these tips were helpful to all of you. Maybe comment some down below that I personally forgot. Um, these were just the ones that I thought of and that personally helped me, but everyone's different. Everyone has their own little things that help them. So once again, thank you to all the 200 of you that are here. I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, if you're not subscribed, all right, y'all, I'm done. Peace out.